to heal and be made whole. It's time to heal body, mind, and soul. Now is the time to heal and be made whole. Now's the time. Let us be healed. Body, mind, and soul. Let's go. Hey, what's happening? It's a, it's a pleasure and an opportunity. Thank God for this opportunity to be here with you once again in the chat room. Yes. Health Chat with your girl, Nurse Coach Jean. I am in the building, in the virtual building. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are live streaming from or if you have dialed in. Thank you so much for spending a a portion of your evening with us here in the chat room. And so this week's episode, episode number 96, you know, I would love to talk a little bit about Make the investment. If you follow me on social media, on Facebook, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, on Clubhouse, or even on Twitter under Nurse Coach Jean, then you know that all month long I have been celebrating my 59th completion of life here on the earth. 59. Yes, fine at 59. <laughs> yes. And I have been doing a series of videos to share with everyone my wellness regimen, the things that I do daily, some things I do probably three to four times a week, some things I do quarterly, but sharing with you all my wellness regimen in honor of um, year 59. And so if you haven't seen the video, there's a lot of great health tips and information. You might want to go to my page, um, Health Chat with Coach Jean, or my Jean Turner page at Nurse Coach Jean, Facebook.com forward slash Nurse Coach Jean, or Facebook.com forward slash Nurse Coach 63 to my Health Chat page, and check out some videos for some great information, uh, tips, and insight uh, into my wellness regimen. I'm sure it will bless you Richly, at least that's my hope and my prayer. But on tonight, I want to share briefly with you, we're not going to be too long, but making the investment. And the reason I brought up the video is because I recently did a video, I think it was yesterday's video, day 28 of my birthday wellness turn up, um, that I talked a little bit about making the investment. But first and foremost, I want to know, is Batman, the Batman of Charm City in the house? Because he uh, sent me a text talking about new um, guidelines from AARP about COVID and that he would spill the beans on the show tonight. So you there, Batman? Batman is in the house. Can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? What's popping? Awesome. I'm doing fine. Uh, just just got done some lawn work and had a little dinner, and I'm ready to talk to you. You ready to talk? All right. Well, let's get it popping. So what, what, just share real quick, because this is going to be a good segue into the topic tonight of make the investment. What are the new, what are these updated guidelines AARP talking about regarding COVID and these vaccines and stuff? Because you know, um, there's several other vaccines they've been trying to get FDA approved. So what's, yeah. what's, what's, what's the four one one? Well, this this was this was uh, pretty big. Um, it's almost like a town hall meeting with all the ARP members across the country. And I said, wow, they, you know, they did a conference. Um, I was I was riding along and the call came through because I, I thought it was going to be like a Zoom or something, but it was actually a conference call. Um, Because they understand um, that some seniors have challenges uh, with Zoom (laughs) because they did try it a couple of times. But anyway, it was it was about maybe 40, 45 minutes. And it talked about uh, COVID and the flu season. Um, This uh, that's upon us real soon. Of course, you know, it's turned chilly in in the the northeastern region pretty early this year. And um, they had a doctor. The doctor was on. 
And uh, he took questions from, you know, from the audience and everything. And it was some things that I've, I've never heard. Uh, they talked about long haul COVID. They talked about combining the old COVID vaccine with the new Omicron variant vaccine. So that was, that was pretty interesting, everybody. It was like, what? Because I know my doctor said they was going to combine the flu vaccine with uh, COVID, but she she wasn't sure if it was going to be the Omicron version or the old one. So he said, that I think there's going to be two two versions coming out. So I guess it's between you and your doctor, which one you decide to get. Um, what was so um, breathtaking about the conversation was that they're finding out through their research that they really can't help anybody that, that's getting long COVID, especially if they're having respiratory issues. And they're finding out from the studies that it's mostly people who didn't get the vaccine or the booster shot that's having problems with long COVID. And some of these people can't work. They're, they're experiencing vertigo, um, shortness of breath, and they just can't get up to speed. And um, this is, and I think I had heard another report too that uh, that it, this is being looked at by Congress because, like I said, some of these people can't can't work because they can't drive. And um, so that was the that was the biggest thing that came out of it. Um, it was some older people was on the line. It was like ninety eight, ninety six. One woman, husband, I mean son, who was seventy six, and she was ninety eight. He caught COVID, but she didn't. And he didn't get the vaccine. And now he's having problems um, sleeping. So that, I never heard that one before. That was the first time. So he's having problems sleeping. And because what's happening is he's, he's having problems breathing. And um, they haven't found anything to help him yet. So that was that was about the craziest thing I've heard in a while, Doc, um, when, it, when it came to COVID. Yeah, that you can't sleep. How are you going to function? Well, yeah, you can't function without sleep, He's and and you can't drive neither if you ain't slept. Well, you right. can't be anyway. Yeah, you know what lane you're in. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I did hear recently about, and when you mentioned it earlier, of course, you know me. I like to research stuff. <laughs> I did go up on the ARP website, <laughs> and you know. That uh, they trying to come up with this um, prescription pill now. Yeah. A uh, first of a treatment of prescription pill. I think Pfizer is trying to come up with a pill now, um, in addition to the shot. You know, to keep um, the, the the coronavirus from causing serious illness, right. especially those most risk for complications. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I tell you what, these different variants, and I know the biggest one you mentioned is the Amicron. And, yeah, I, I did briefly see something on their site that they're trying to, uh, this new vaccine right. is going to have some, uh, uh, I guess, Omicron mm -hmm. strand in it to help. But look, that man, all these, all these freaking vaccines and boosters, man, and we still don't really know the, the long-term side effects from all of this because remember a few months ago they had this thing in the news to where all of these newborn babies were getting sick. Hmm, I didn't I see that. They called, they called it, begins with a P, some kind of virus, and they were wondering whether it is a result of the, the, the COVID-19 vaccine being administered to pregnant women. Yeah, but I thought for a minute they weren't giving pregnant women shots for a no. while. Yeah. No, they started vaccinating them with it because they said they recommended it. So they was wondering, I, I can't think of the name of that right now, but it was just recently, probably the end of the spring, beginning of summer, to where all these cases of newborn, newborn babies, right, mm -hmm. fresh out their mother's womb, or in a few days after they were coming up with this virus, and they were seeing if it was connected to their mom getting the COVID vaccine while pregnant. Yeah, that's very interesting because one of the things that uh, some doctors were talking, not, not this call, but they were talking about that once, that uh, the babies babies and the mom, they don't, they don't share the same bloodstream, even though the baby's connected to the mom. 
uh, they don't like if the mom is having some kind of distress issues, it wouldn't bother the baby. So that was one of the things that were that was talked about in something else I even heard on news or read. But guess what though, I didn't drop the bomb on you though. The bomb is the problem is bomb? Northern Europe is experience is still experiencing the the pandemic of the, of the old Northern Europe. Oh. Northern Europe is having major issues with COVID-19. And the doctor's saying a lot of times they watch what's going on in Europe because it won't be but maybe two or three weeks out before we experience the same issues. Yeah, in other words, it's a boost. Back and forth. Yeah, it's a surge going on in Northern Europe. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Look, People think that the pandemic is over, and it doesn't help that our president declared it <laughs> over as well. Sleepy, he was sleep. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> and so no one's wearing a mask. I just came, look, I just came from traveling, right? Mm-hmm. I went to the lake for my birthday. I was, well, I think I may have been the only person walking around with a mask on. <laughs> uh, and then until my husband came and joined me. Uh, and then, you know, I went on a retreat. I went to Destin. And maybe me and one other young lady there was wearing a mask, and she was wearing it because her daughter um, is still a little immunocompromised. Right. So, you know, and then, you know, I went to Woman Out Loose. Bishop Jake was in town for the homecoming final Woman Out Loose. And, me, I mean, there was, there was some of us with masks, but 85% of people in a crowd of people, 20,000 in the Georgia World Congress Center did not have them. People think it's over. Yeah, no. I, or, or even they think that 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 um, that um all these shots and boosts is going to keep them from getting it. Well, the, the, no, and the thing now. about it, I know, and the thing about it, they said that, um, and, and I got to go back and listen to the tape, but I thought I heard them say that the U.S. is still experiencing a certain amount of deaths per month. If I'm not mistaken, I thought he yeah. said 500 in America. And also. Yeah, I thought I said 400, but I think you're right. It's, it's between four and 500. Yeah, it's over a million yeah, deaths. They ain't talking yeah. about it no more. Right. And yeah, then, man, too. They ain't talking about it no more. Right. And see, the thing, too, is because. People, I think after a while, people feel like the summer, because he did mention that if you do do gatherings, it's best to do it outside because they find out that, that the COVID can't really hang outside too long. But he said, if you're in a crowded event, it could be trouble, you know. So he did mention that it's, it's safer to be outdoors with it. It doesn't carry or something. He said COVID, I guess COVID don't like being outside, <laughs> something like that he was saying. But um, you're right, though, because we, we we went to a jazz show and um, it was some people that was wearing their their 95s. I know I had my my rug. I think my wife had her. Yeah, we both had ours on, but she would take hers off to take pictures. So I had some some concerns, but she was with the same people, you know, and they weren't traveling around. They were staying at their table. So um, I, I kind of be watching people pretty close. If I see a bead of sweat. <laughs> I got some concerns. Sneezing, coughing, I'm out of there. Because yeah. I thought I'd be in a car if I hear somebody coughing in there. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, it's like um, people, were, my mom said the same thing where she live at. You know, she's going to Walmart. And, but, and then my mom, my mom had, f- had, had a uh, episode the other night. I think it was last mm-hmm. week. And um, my dad had to call the Amber Lambs. So, um, long story short, she had her, her sodium levels were really low because she tried to eat like us. <laughs> I said, Mom, you can't eat like us, you know. <laughs> you don't eat, I said, you don't eat every three hours for one. So, anyway, she, she, um, the ambulance came and got her, but they couldn't take her to her earlier hospital because the, the emergency room was overran with COVID patients. So, they had to take uh-huh. her 20, 30 minutes to another township, which nobody really knew about because they just opened up a new facility. Brand new facility. A lot of people didn't know about the damn last driver told her. And it was, she said it was really, really nice. State of the art. Everybody's very professional. And she, they only kept her, you know, overnight just to run tests and everything. But, um, yeah, the, the the emergency rooms are uh, packed again. <laughs> and two, and one more thing before I let you run off with the show. 
Also, he mentioned that, and my doctor told me this too, that booster, the booster shots, COVID-19 booster shots are only really good for four months tops. He said stretching at six. Because they, they and my doctor, she's an endocrinologist, they, they, they're they actually doing tests at their facility with some of the people that work there. And they find out that those, those whatever, this entry your body to help you, you know, fight off is, is no longer there after about five or six months. So you have to get, right, so you have to get reboosted. You have to get boosted again. And that's the concern that a lot of people is having. is like, this thing is in my body. It's, no, she said it doesn't stay that long. It's just... You know, it's what it is. I guess it's like taking vitamins. If you stop at the wireless, you know, there's no more supplement. <laughs> it's gone. So, yeah. so, look, look. so people supposed to get shot up every four to six months. That's yeah, he, right. He said they, right. He said they, they are working on a stronger version, but they already have a stronger version out right now for the flu shot. But they don't recommend it for everybody, only for seniors. Because, and I remember, and I told my wife about this. She didn't believe it. And I think I did ask a friend of mine whose wife was a pharmaceutical rep. I said, um, I went to the pharmacist to go get my allergy medicine. And there was an older woman in front of me. She was over 60. And the pharmacist told her he couldn't give her her flu shot because he wasn't certified for that version that she needed. I was like, what? What? Yeah, it's a stronger version out. So he wasn't lying. (laughs) She didn't believe him. Yeah. it's a you get the flu shot once a year. Right, but they it, never... It's stronger verse to be that when you get the COVID booster once a year, but this every three to six months stuff is... Yeah. Uh, again, still don't have enough research to know the long-term side effects. Right, but also, he said if you do get sick and you've had the booster shot at any time, you can... You can reach out to your doctor and they do have a pill that will keep you from being hospitalized. Cause I remember that because a friend of mine, he's a police officer and he caught COVID and man, he was sick. And this dude is, you know, he's huge too. He's, you know, he was weightlifting and everything. He said the nurse came over and she gave him two shots and each a shot in each leg and a pill. He was, he said, he just turned around really, really fast. He said he couldn't believe it cause he, he said he couldn't make it. So they had to send the nurse to his house. <laughs> the, the door was unlocked. Isn't that crazy? So you learn so much by talking to different people because the news is not going to share a lot of this stuff. You know, they kind of exhausted with this. You know, they ain't talking about the hurricane, see. <laughs> they going to talk about COVID in, 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 in Ukraine. Awesome. Yeah, in Russia and okay. Ukraine. Today, they've been talking about this hurricane. But, yeah, I did see about the pill. Um, on the um, AARP website. But this is why, now Batman, this is why, and I hope our listeners catch this. This, And this is why I talked about this on my page yesterday, okay? We've got to make an investment in our health and well-being, all right? Because COVID, monkeypox, not to mention everything else that was out before this, right? Mm -hmm. And, And so... We invest in so many other things, right? We invest in Roth IRAs and 401ks and our kids' education, college education. We invest in, you know, building businesses and, you know, our professional development. We invest in so many different things, but many are not investing in their well-being. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'd rather invest, and I did, for my birthday, I treated myself. I needed a new juicer, right? I was tired of that old clunky one that I had used in years, <laughs> right? And, and so I invested in a Nama juicer. It cost me $500, wow. but it's an investment. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a long-term investment to juice, properly juice my fresh fruits and vegetables because the blender wasn't quite getting it for me. I, I mean, but it's an investment. We have got to invest in our well-being, Jerry. Yeah. I mean, you know, New level. extra vitamin supplements, but more importantly, eat good foods, foods that are good for us. Build our immune system because I guarantee you it's going to be something else to come along. But what are we doing on a daily basis to invest in our well-being yeah. and boost our immune system? You know what I'm saying? That's right. You're right. Invest- 
saying. And you know, and I, I just always and you and you telling the truth too, because I know for me, you know, you know, I've, I've been pretty invested in you know my physical fitness, and in the place I go to, they they have the the hydro massage bed and everything that that really helped because it was one time I couldn't really drive with my left shoe on for long trips. It's like my leg just go to sleep. So what happened since I've been getting on a hydro bed? I haven't had no problem. I told my doctor about this. She was like, "Wow, really?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "I said I wish I could go to my masseuse every two weeks, but you know, they kind of expensive. <laughs> it's like a car payment." And um, so, you know, by me having my membership, I think I pay ten dollars a month access to the, to everything. You know, hey, they, they have everything there. And so, I've been doing the hydro bed. Uh, along with seeing my chiropractor for since COVID, I've been doing it since I guess you could say he's twenty twenty, and I can really feel the difference. Cause, you know, because I lift a lot of weights because because I don't I don't take insulin, and I use a real low dosage of medication. I use the the the, the hormones from building muscle to control my glucose levels. So I so I do really I so I do um. I forgot what that program called, but my son told me about it. He said most guys that are fast that's in football, like, you know, they call them specialty positions, they lift that way. So what I do, I start high at 120 pounds and work my way down in in, t- in repetitions, 10 reps on each plate. And, um, you know, and it makes you look good. And at the same time, you're building strength. You know, you know, just you know, some guys just lift to shape their muscles. They don't really lift to be strong. So I do. So this enables you to do both. So, and I found out that I need to have a lot of vitamins and minerals. <laughs> so you can't get all of it from your foods. So no. sea moss has been my go-to, but I had problems with delivery coming out of Texas because uh, uh, T Boss from TLC mentioned it to us, and, and we was on Clubhouse with her, and she mentioned you know this this company, and it, it was really really good stuff. But by the time it come to Maryland, it's all mildewy, <laughs> it's jacked up, and they try to stick an ice pack in it, but it doesn't work when I mean, it's ninety degrees, you know, traveling across Texas to Maryland. Right. So I f- I went online and I finally found a company. That's 10 minutes from my house that does it. And it's a family-owned business, and it's delicious. And um, same price and everything, but I don't have to pay for shipping. So um, I feel like myself again. You don't know how to make it yourself. Sea moss is very easy to make. I make my own. I barely got enough time to do oatmeal. (laughs) You know, my my life is busy. My life is busy. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, because it do take time. It, it takes time. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I wish it could. I make my own elderberry. I make my own juice. I juice myself. It takes time. Yeah. It takes discipline. Yeah, but I sew into that business. You know, I sew into their business. And they do shakes and, and some other kind of uh, juices. Because they do everything organically, too. And they do the juice and stuff. Of course, by the time I get to $500... <laughs> Probably would be till like two years later because they do charge like I think ten dollars for that's a real long jar of um, different flavor juices, you know. So that's what I try next time I come through. I just wanted to grab my my elderberry sea moss, you know, because I was I was down to two teaspoons. I was panicking because <laughs> I I can't live without this stuff. So uh, yeah, I mean I think that's that was one of the things that really helped me the most when it came to controlling my glucose level because, you know, because I was doing everything that I was always doing, but sometimes the body just get used to certain things and then it just go back to its old broken down self again. But I just find that, um, and then I don't know why they didn't want Dr. Dr. You know who <laughs> to, uh, to lock, lock down the patent on the sea moss because it is magical. Yeah. It is magic. Uh, it is. It is. And that elderberry is too. And, yeah. you know, and I spoke about that the other day on one of my videos. You know, we, uh, we, we not going to get the, the way many of us eat, you know, many of like, I know me, I, I can't eat three to six, four to six times a day. That's too much because I eat a lot of vegetables and that fiber keeps me full longer than I juice. So that keeps me full longer. And it's just we you know, we not going to get all the vitamins and minerals that we need every right. day just from food. We have to supplement yep. with vitamins and minerals. 
is just be careful of the type because you don't want synthetic vitamins. Right. Anymore. You know, and fillers, you yeah. Synthetic. But we got to start investing in our well being. We, we've got to start. That's right. We've got to start. And so that all year long, and it's got to be every day, 365 days a year, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's going to boost our immune system and keep them working properly. It can't just be, oh, it's, it's flu season, which, by the way, starts September 1st. It can't be, oh, it's flu season. Let me start back to taking my elderberry or my sea moss yeah. or whatever. We should put it 365 days a year. That's right. 365 yeah. That's right. Fill it up. That's right. And, and, you know, I think it's important now for people to get started probably in August if they want those kind of people that want to wait. Like for me, I know chicken broth really works well for me when I feel like something coming down. But if I go get me some chicken soup, which now I'm, I don't do chicken, so I just get the, you know, the bone broth or whatever. Or sometimes I go to, to one of our, um, we got Wegmans here and they have like organic uh, chicken. Chicken, Look, chicken I'm soup. With Wegmans. I was stationed at Fort Belvoir. Yeah, that's Wegmans, right. But my go-to, it's like a shopping experience. Oh place. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Too bad we don't have them here in Atlanta. Yeah, you know, with the the shipping industry kind of, you know, messed them up a little bit, you know, with the the veg- fresh vegetables and stuff because people buying it up so fast, you know. Everybody's kind of on their game in this area. We got, you know, this area. You know, you got a lot of athlete, athletes, you know, because of the Ravens and the Orioles. And so the people see them, they want to look like them. So we got a lot of runners and walkers and dog walkers. And, you know, people just want to stay in shape, you know, be competitive. Because we got nice big gyms here now, um, you know, that people can go to. So L.A. Fitness is a couple levels, the YMCA. So people want to look good, you know, when they go to these places. And, and like, lately, I've never seen these many young people in the gym that I've seen lately since the pandemic. At one time, it was always people who fell off the wagon, <laughs> like, years ago. <laughs> you know, they fell off the, the chocolate chip wagon, I call it. And now they're in there trying to get off those 200 pounds. But, you you know, I'm seeing people in there that's in super shape. I'm like, why are they in here? <laughs> they're in super shape, you know. Yeah, it's like, you know, you you feel pretty bad if you come in and you're out of shape now. <laughs> they make you look bad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you feeling some kind of way. I tell you what. But, yeah, we got, and, and it's, it's little things. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that man? Every day, it's the littlest thing we can do, right, to invest in our well-being. Like, even if it's just go walking for 20 to 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even if it's just eat apples. For a snack, it's little things that add up to great dividends, you know, that we can do to make the investment in our well-being. And it ain't rocket science, but I think everybody makes it rocket science and make it more difficult than what it is. Yeah, it gives you so much clarity, too. You know, you can really think clearly, you know, you're moving better. And, um, you know, get out there and do some fun things. Like I was just talking to um, this lady at the credit union today, and she told me she had uh, tweaked her knee bowling. You know, I said, oh, you know what? I said, that happened to me a couple of times. I said, I said, now I found out that weightlifting and, you know, going in the gym not only just make you feel better and look better, but it helps you when you do physical activity. So, you know, right now I'm like the champion of the bowling tournaments right now. And my my son's just like, what are you doing? Are you sneaking out here practicing? You know, they want to know how I'm carrying the team. And it's because, you know, I've been going to the gym since, what, like 2017, something like that, you know? I was too, I was, people don't know, but I was 230 pounds, you know, when I was raising my kids. I was actually taking my son to a gym for speed school. You know, he was learning how to run fast and move fast. And I'm sitting there watching, you know, eating snack. You know, when they say, hey, Mr. Jerry, you can, you can walk the track, man. You can, you can use the facility. You know, you, you've been investing in your son here for so many years. Everybody know you. You know, and I was like, oh, that's okay. I'm just going to sit back and watch. <laughs> they had a <laughs> boxing bag, kick bag, dumbbells, indoor track, all that stuff. But that was my journey getting back in shape. I started on the indoor track, and then that was my journey uh, to get back in shape, you know. Wow. 
And here you are, five years later, still at it. Yep, still at it. And 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 that's right. And um, as soon as um, my youngest son come back, you know, we we get the bowling squad back together, and uh, we be back at it. So hopefully, I'll be able to get my my scores even higher. <laughs> you know, get my trophies. You know, collect them. Let them trophy them trophies stacked in, man. He's stacking right now. Stacking. Yeah, yeah man. Like my race. I got stacking race medals hanging in. There's a, a separate room in our house that we turned. It was one of the kids' bedrooms, of course, you know, but they've been left home years ago. And so it turned into my race room <laughs> where I got medals everywhere. They just stacked up so much so my husband got them plaques and hanging up on all walls in there. Yeah, so your your bowling trophies are going to stack up too. Yeah, but, man. yeah, I'm our listeners. If they don't take nothing else away from this week's episode here in the chat room, you know, small, just little teeny things make a big difference, you know, investing in their well-being because COVID ain't going nowhere no time soon. Now it's flu season, it's monkeypox, it's all these different things, it's heart disease and cancer and this and that, mm-hmm. and, and we just make the investment. People want to invest in big screen TVs and all of that, and that's fine. People want to be millionaires and billionaires. I mean, that's fine. But I'm a witness, and, and Batman, you a witness as well. Amen. It sounds cliche, but true. Health is wealth, and all the billions of dollars you make ain't going to mean a hill of beans if you sick and weak and can't enjoy it. Yeah, you're gonna, the yeah, yeah they're going to need that to provide their health care, <laughs> their nursing care. And, or they're going to take it. It's yeah. going to take it. Yeah, Healthy eat it up. Cheap. That's right. Eat it up. Cheap. Yeah, man. And you know, when um, think you know, also you know, for people who are doing a lot of you know other things, like right now in Maryland, because the laws change, the gun laws change. A lot of people uh, are purchasing weapons and going out to the range. You'd be surprised how you know um doing strengthening will help you um, aim better. You know, make you more sharper. You know, because one thing that takes you you know, takes you down so fast is when you're when you're when you start uh, getting tired. You know, you wear down and you're not as accurate as you were in the first you know thirty twenty minutes or whatever. So you got to build yourself up. You know, and and even archery. You know, a lot of people are doing archery. People are going out on camping and trails. You know, this is the time when people are gonna be hitting trails now. Um, cause you know, cause yeah. the Lyme disease is not going to be, you know, because it's getting colder, the deers won't be, uh, carrying the ticks on it. So people are going to be hitting those trails. So you, you know, you got to get in shape for that kind of stuff, you know, cause you, you don't want to risk injury. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We do. We start hitting the trails about, um, October. We start and my nephew, yeah. my nephew big into honestly, that. Honestly, uh, that man now here in Atlanta the mornings are like 50s 60s gorgeous it still gets to the high 70s 80s mm-hmm. during the day but mornings are gorgeous like this is perfect here now yeah. get up in the morning and you know before it gets warm and the bugs start biting <laughs> yeah we get that too yeah we've been in the 50s 57 this morning just threw on a hoodie took the dog out and like you know I'm like I said, I've been walking since we had our dog. Our dog, she is, I think, turning six this year, I believe. We got her when she was one years old. So I'm out there every day except when we're away and she's in the kennel. Other than that, you know, we're out there putting in our, um, we usually put in, I think, a mile and a half in the morning. But by the end of the, the day, we're hitting like 3.5, something like that. And then if I go to the to the gym and I'm on a treadmill, I, do, I usually do a treadmill anywhere between 30, to an, 30 minutes to an hour depending on what day or week it is. Yep. Yeah. And that's recommended. You know, American Heart Association recommends at a minimum 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So you you go on above and beyond, which is good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know. That's right. Got to. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, I hope we're encouraging. Yeah, I hope we're encouraging people to, you know, to get out there. And, you know, was, I hate to say this, but um, a friend of mine, it was two friends, um, uh, told me that some people, they actually didn't wake up. And they were young people in, in their 40s. One lady, one young girl was taking a nap on her boyfriend's lap while he's watching TV, and he couldn't wake her up. Yeah. 
and it happened to a coworker of mine. He said his uh, his uh, he went to see one of his people, his, one of his um, employees. His wife called him and said they, they couldn't wake him up. And he just finished playing basketball. Thirty two years old. Yep, so he was gonna wow. go take a nap. Yeah, so you know, I don't know whether he was in shape or not, but he said he don't remember him being, you know, having health issues, but he don't remember him saying he was a you know on a team or anything. So he could have just went out there and you know overdid it. Who knows? But we do we do need regular exercise, like you said. So we hope we're encouraging people. Amen. Yeah, remove your bodies. Try to eat eat healthy. Foods, you know, get your rest, manage your stress, you know, pray, meditate, got to put God first. I tell you the truth, you know, it, it, it's a combination, I believe, of things. But, you know, even when we get up, you know, God wakes us up in the morning, we give him our first fruits in prayer, nourish our spiritual man, you know, it, that's, that's an investment in our spiritual health. So, you know, when we, we, we say affirmations. That 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 that's an investment in our mental health and well being. So it's there's so many ways that we all can invest in our well being. So many different ways. You know, walking out in that, you know, in nature, walking around the block, mm-hmm. you know. It's just so many different ways, you know. And I just uh want our listeners to be cognizant of that and to start where you are. You know, start where you are. That's right. And so that that man I think, you know, that's about going to wrap up this week's episode yeah. here in the chat room with your girl, Nurse Coach Dean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. But, um, I just shout out and thank our listeners for joining us. I thank you, the Batman of Charm City himself. My you know pleasure. My <laughs> pleasure. My <laughs> pleasure. Hope we encourage. And until next time to our listeners, until next time, as God says the same, continue grace, peace, and health. Stay well, stay healthy. God bless you all.